I feel like my videos recently have been a bit depressing and sad so I thought we would just have a little chat and a coffee because it is going to be okay. I know it doesn't feel like it at the moment. I know everyone's going to be having a completely different experience of the pandemic, of lockdown. Everyone's going to be in completely different situations but at some point this will end and this time round, this second lockdown, the winter lockdown, feels different to before. Before it was, you know, maybe a little bit exciting, maybe a little bit different. People didn't have to take exams, they were excited about that. They were homeschooling for the first time so you didn't have to get up and get out of the house at a particular time and this time it's not like that. We've been there before and last time it was summer so we could go outside and it was warm and it was nice and we could go in the garden or go to the park and have a sit down and you know, take a coffee or a can drink with us and enjoy ourselves and at the moment it's getting dark and it's cold and it's just a bit sad and I think the reason it feels so much harder this time is because there's no end in sight. If the government said, or the scientists said, or whoever said, on the 1st of March 2021, this will be gone and life will go back to normal, we'd be kind of like, okay, well, this is a bit, this is a bit rubbish, I'm not enjoying myself, this is not a fun time, but there's only a few months left. I can get to the end point. I can see, see the end point. You can count down the days, but we can't see the end point. We don't know when things are going to get back to normal. We don't know what's going to be happening with exams. We don't know what's going to be happening with school next week, next month, let alone next year. And that's really, really hard. The the not knowing, the not knowing when things are going to go back to normal, not knowing when you're going to be able to go enjoy yourself, when you're going to be able to go over to a friend's house and just hang out. I am currently in high lockdown risk. I don't even know what it means, but I do know it means that my kids aren't allowed to have play dates in our house, and it means that I'm not allowed to go out for coffee with my friends, which are things I really enjoy doing. And it does feel at the moment like life is a little bit joyless and sad, and we are stuck in our houses doing the same thing over and over again and working really really hard because it is harder when you're stuck inside your house. I know um, that my husband's working really hard crazy hours, I'm working really hard crazy hours getting as much content as I can up for you guys because you know if school shut last minute then I am your teacher and I feel the responsibility for all of you trying to get us all through this as sanely as possible and then being stuck inside the house with people you like people you maybe don't like maybe you don't get on with your parents or your siblings or maybe you're not in a healthy household and there are some abusive relationships going on being stuck inside with people you like is hard being stuck inside with people you don't like is really 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 awful and people are going to have different experiences of that some people are going to have great relationships at home and their schools are going to be open the whole time so they get to leave the house and some of you your schools are going to be shutting for two weeks and you're going to be stuck inside a house with shouting and throwing and maybe even hitting and that's not a great situation if you are in that situation then please reach out to somebody there are lots of organizations the samaritans childline young minds who are there and ready and prepared to help you prepared to listen prepared to listen to anything you want to say to them no matter how trivial it might sound there are people out there who are waiting to listen to what you have to say or go and talk to one of your teachers at school um Oh, this video is this was supposed to be an upbeat, positive video, but it's just descended into sadness again. And like, I think the videos I put out on the weekend were just 
really sad and depressing because that's that's kind of how I feel at the moment. I feel like my life is slightly devoid of any joy apart from the joy that I get from coffee and I'm not even allowed to talk to people like I'm having coffee anymore. Um, so anyway I was getting to a point it will be okay. At some point in the future it will be okay. I can't tell you when that will be. I can't tell you how soon that will be. I can't tell you exactly what that will feel like. But at some point in the future, you will wake up and it will be okay. It might not be the okay that you envisioned for yourself. It might not be the okay that you planned. It might be an okay where the pandemic's still going on, but we've learned to live with it. I don't know what okay is going to be. But at one point in the future, we're gonna wake up and it's not gonna feel rubbish. It's gonna feel okay. And there will be happiness, and there will be joy, and there will be love, and there will be going outside and hugging people and socializing and seeing our friends. It might not be like it used to be, it might not be normal anymore, but at some point, we will be able to do those things again. They might be slightly riskier, but we will be able to do those things. It will be okay. I can't guarantee that everyone who is in your life at the moment will still be there. Um, we are still in a pandemic which is killing people, and unfortunately you might be one of the people that loses someone to this. But grief doesn't last in the same state doesn't last forever. It does lessen over time. We all learn to live with grief. And it's not just the grief for losing people, it's the grief for losing our way of life, the way changing things. Things are not like they used to be and the future, we literally have no idea what it will look like, but at some point it will be okay. And I know I'm maybe repeating that and waffling. It's just that I have to keep telling myself that to believe it. Otherwise I would literally go a little bit stare crazy. I can even feel myself like tearing up at the moment. I just have to keep telling myself and you that it's going to be okay. We can make it through this. It will be all right. Things will be normal-ish at some point in the future. It's going to be okay. We will get through this it's going to be okay, we will get through this. Um, so, yeah, if you're struggling, you're not the only one. Please go and talk to somebody and please remember that this will end at some point.